Welcome back to another episode of MZ Toss Boxing. <laughs> I'm your host, MZ. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to just go and jump right into it and say, what kind of mad, scientist, crazy thought pattern do you people have when you say Tyson Fury is the reason that tickets were selling for he and Deontay Wilder? And because Deontay Wilder wasn't helping to sell tickets, that's why they pulled out of the fight. Are you retarded? Stupid? Crazy? Dumb? Any other slanderous word that I can use to describe you? If Tyson Fury was such a great selling magnet, why didn't he sell tickets against Auto Violin? Why didn't he sell tickets against Tom Swartz? As a matter of fact, why is his biggest purse against Deontay Wilder and no one else? Can you explain that? I didn't think you could. First, let's go ahead and, and, and right the wrong of the ship. For all you so-called boxing pundits, experts, guys that call it straight, non-biased, honest champs, channels, you're all some freaking liars. Yeah, I said it. Straight up, downright, mama should be shamed, daddy should have shot you off the side of the bed. Liars. Pretending that you didn't see the infractions that took place in the ring against Deontay Wilder with Tyson Fury. Pretending that you didn't know that Tyson Fury was a, a drug cheat, pretending you didn't know. Pretending that you didn't know that Tyson Fury ate wild boar off of a farm. <laughs> wild boar, farm, get it? That means it was raised on a farm. So how could it be wild? More like domesticated. Anyway, they're telling me that he got some kind of thing in the system for meeting a wild boar. Damn, that almost sound like Canelo and his cow meat. But we can understand Canelo and his cow meat because it's been proven. I have yet to see proof that wild boar, uncircumcised, would put a man-made chemical in your system from what I understand, can only get there by a needle. So you gotta be shot up with it. But you want me to believe that Tyson Fury, the jipping snowman, is an honest, true, straight shooter. Here's the reason that tickets are selling versus Deontay Wilder, it's Deontay Wilder's fault that the fight was held up, that, that he waited too long and let his contract expire, now he wants to wait, now all that old dumb stuff. But this is going to show you how foolish people is and their stupidity, they try to rub off on you. Name a time that you've seen somebody be able to go to court or arbitration if a contract had ran out and it was stipulated in the contract that way. It wouldn't have never made it to court of arbitration. Name how many times somebody can get caught on drugs, people find out that you're telling a lie, and then you go into investigation and are told that you can't fight in your home country anymore. Tyson Fury. People lie and say, oh, Deontay Wilder picked Tyson Fury. It was a cherry pick going wrong in the first fight. Tyson Fury won. And Tyson Fury had just got back into the ring. That was his first fight back. Lying son of a cows. You do know that Tyson Fury had two fights. Say it with me. Two fights before he faced Deontay Wilder the first time. Which was plenty enough time to not only get in shape, but shake off all the ring rust 
that so many people claim that he had on it. By his own admissions, he could not beat Deontay Wilder by straight boxing because that didn't work. We all saw that that didn't work. He ended up giving him a draw. And yes, I said they gave him a draw because Wilder dropped him twice. And Jack Reese, the referee of the first fight, by his own admittance, on Barbershop Conversation, said he felt like Deontay Wilder won the first four rounds. Now, some people are going to say, well, that leaves eight rounds to Tyson Fury. Well, no, because if he won the first four rounds and he dropped Tyson Fury twice in two separate rounds, the two rounds that he dropped Tyson Fury in, that gives Deontay Wilder, that would be six rounds. Two rounds of by which he should be up 10-8. Now, some people are going to come and say, well, you know, it's only a one-point difference when you get knocked down. I have never heard them score a fight when the person gets knocked down. I have ne never heard them say, well, that's just a one-point round. It's always been called out as a 10-8 round. So... For all you liars, thieves, and the people don't watch you long enough and strong enough, you might end up murdering somebody. Because my mama said, if you a lie, you a steal. If you a steal, you a kill. Oh, oh boy. Tyson Fury, people. Daddy is already talking about murder. 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 Killing Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder said, I want a body on my record. And people lost their mind. WBC started talking about how they were going to investigate. Investigate a statement. But we don't hear anybody saying anything about the fact that John Fury, Tyson Fury's daddy, is talking about Deontay Wilder might get killed. We should have just killed him the first time. That's the type of shit, excuse me, that's the kind of stuff that we've been hearing from him. This is the same guy who was crying Weeks before his son called COVID about how his son can get hurt. Deontay Wilder is a different monster. He's worried about him. Throw the, throw the belt in the trash and just fight Anthony Joshua. People are still paid to see it. Don't nobody want to see your son bad built, busted biscuit pack looking self fighting anybody without a belt for undisputed comes to me, seems to me, however you want to crack it up. Y'all scared of that boy from Alabama. Excuse me, Deontay Wilder. I didn't mean to say boy. Y'all scared of that man from Alabama, Tuscaloosa. Y'all thinking he just country and don't know no better. Well, I take off my hat. I take, I say, I take my hat off to him. Congratulate him, from, to congratulate him on becoming a millionaire a household name and in the record books of boxing because here's a guy who picked up boxing at age 19 and for all you guys that have been studying under these top dollar names these high price names going to these great name gyms uh, uh, practicing from 8 years old to 21 and beyond and you let this man come in and do what you couldn't do and you've been at this shit all your life. What do you think? You like this video, leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Drop a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. And stop stealing my stuff. <laughs> I said it.